Hello my soccer universe! Yeah, it's time for the international break, but I'm not quite ready yet. I'm wearing the carnival jersey for Cologne. Why? Today is 11-11. Would be nice that I posted to you on 11-11 at 11-11. I will not work out, unfortunately, this uh, way due to uploading uh, troubles. But in any case, I'm still somewhere halfway between the two. There will be a jersey review coming, so I decided, okay, I'll do what I usually avoid doing, mixing club team and international background. What I want to point out now here in this video are kind of um, what are the games to look out for you know, over the next, um, you know, from Thursday to Tuesday. There are quite some interesting ones in there. I actually tried to match them here. Um, fortunately, one of them that I couldn't uh, feature is, of course, Portugal against Serbia because I don't have a Serbia jersey yet. I saw one today for relatively cheap, but I'm not sure if I will get it on time. But that is one ma matchup. So I have Ireland and Portugal here. But other than that, yeah, here are quite some interesting matchups, always home and away on the bottom, uh, that you can look out for. So I would say we'll get started. I mean, to uh, today, Thursday, 11 11. Um, early games, I have to say, everything from group A, H, and J is kind of so and so. Although Russia and Croatia really cannot avoid any slip ups there, and Slovakia, Slovenia, they don't have a shot at qualifying. So it's basically who is finishing third, which is kind of a bear. Uh, thing. Uh, the one that sticks out a little bit is Ireland, Portugal, because Ireland, although they're at the moment not that good, um, so sticks out among that set, there is another fix fixture at the same time slot that uh, is definitely worth watching. But Ireland gave Port Portugal quite a run for the money in Portugal, um, and if they take points of Portugal, uh, that would then definitely put Serbia in a better position. Um, moving forward like if Ireland beat Portugal that has to be avoided uh, if uh, they're level then poor Portugal would ahead of would move ahead of Serbia and Serbia Serbia would need to win in Portugal on match day 10. However the game to watch Thursday 11 11 is Greece against Spain there's no this is one of those it's similar to the Serbia part it's kind of a prelude for me um, there are two um, two nations in there that are the most interesting ones to watch and that is mostly Spain but also a little bit Italy because they both have tricky fixtures. Greece, is, uh, Greece hosting Spain could be a major tripper because Georgia and Sweden play earlier. Should Sweden win and should Spain, I think they need to get at least, a not, a, not even a draw is enough. Spain need to win this one. If Sweden wins, Spain need to match. It's that simple. So yeah, uh, they definitely uh, have the work cut out for for, for for them. If Sweden shows win and Spain not, uh, Sweden is already qualified for the World Cup. So for me, this is a major, major, major matchup uh, that um, we have to see, but could very well swing Sweden's way. Uh, although Spain has been kind of been entertaining for us in the Nations League. Then um, moving on to Friday. Uh, for Scotland, it's just a must win against Moldova. Austria Israel is not interesting. Denmark uh, against the Faroe Islands. I think Denmark is already qualified, so uh, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, England, uh, as far as I know, within absence with a win over Albania, would uh, qualify. And then Poland over Andorra would move Poland already in second place, uh, rendering the remaining fixtures um, meaningless. However, the big one on Friday is Italy against Switzerland. Whoever wins, they are level on points. Italy has uh, goal differences, two goals better than Switzerland's. Whoever wins is in prime position. Not mathematically through yet, but more or less uh, in a good position. If Italy wins this emphatically, uh, then I think Swi Swi Switzerland will have a hard time catching up. But have in mind, Italy need to go to Belfast and Switzerland will host Bulgaria at home. So uh, very, very tricky. This is a, everything a must win it's a must win for Italy uh, for sure 
there. Then on Saturday, it's also kind of so-and-so games. Um, I think Frost uh, is not yet qualified, but with a win over Kazakhstan, they would be. So uh, that would take care of things for sure. Uh, and then it's basically Ukraine, Finland, but there is not really a, a, a matchup that really sticks out. I mean, uh, for the playoff play spot, yes, Bosnia, if they win over Finland, they are right in the thick of that race again. They would even go ahead of Ukraine. Same goes for Finland. If they win in Bosnia, and so on. So uh, that could be a sideshow. And then, of course, also uh, whatever the Netherlands and Turk uh, Netherlands and Norway are doing. Uh, Turkey is in there, but uh, they are already four points behind the Netherlands. Norway need to win at home to Lat. Latvia and the Netherlands cannot really afford. They probably can 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 can, 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 can afford for a draw, but it's better. Uh, to not have to have a, at least a slight... No, they would have the slight one. A draw is enough for the Netherlands, as far as I, 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 I can tell them that they would need only a draw against Norway in the last round. Uh, as for Group E that I have here, uh, I'm just wondering, so, uh, the Czechs and Wales are still battling for the playoff spot, so this is basically a must-win for Wales, and they would be ahead of the Czechs. Uh, if Belgium win, they're qualified. So uh, that goes that way. Then last match day. Uh, Croatia, Russia on Sunday. This is prob this is more or less a must watch now, especially Croatia is probably in a serious situation where they must win in order to qualify because they're currently two points behind uh, Russia. So uh, that's a pretty, pretty big matchup. Um, Group J uh, is nothing. Then we have, of course, uh, late Portugal against Serbia. We talked talk already about that. That's a, an absolute must win on the last match day. Uh, a must watch, a must win, probably for Serbia. But it also depends on what um, is happening. And then at the same time, Spain against Sweden. Uh, if both Spain and Sweden win uh, today, then this is a match who will qualify and it will be a must win for Spain. Pretty big matchup. And uh, as far as I saw, they play in the ugly stadium in Sevilla. Sevilla. Uh, Scotland, Denmark looks nice, not, not much to play for. Poland, Hungary could be a fight for this player spot, although Poland could already have um, uh, clinched that one. And then, of course, it's Northern Ireland, Italy, if, where Italy with a draw potentially, if they win against Swiss, with Switzerland with a draw probably um, could uh, secure qual qual qualification. But if Switzerland and Italy only play a draw, then it could go, come down to goal difference. And I see see it more likely that Switzerland makes a few goals against Bulgaria than Italy winning big in Northern Ireland for some reason. Um, Bosnia has a governor. Ukraine could be interesting for the playoff spot. Wales, Belgium sounds great, but will probably not be unless Wales combusts. And then it's, of course, Netherlands, Norway. That's another final on Tuesday. I think that's one to look out for. So, yeah, this is what will happen now in the World Cup qualifiers in Europe. I know that in uh, North America, CONCACAF, there's also US against Mexico. Uh, so, yeah, interesting games definitely out there. In any case, this is my recommendation uh, to you. We are celebrating the beginning of Carnival and I'm always happy to have international games because uh, not only do I enjoy them more, but also uh, it eases a little bit the uh, schedule here around. So it's always good to have this break. Any case, let me know which games you lo look looking out for a while or watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel we'll see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my SOFA universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.